What's up guys, it is Sam here and I wanted to give a quick update on uh, that property that I'm trying to purchase. Uh, I don't think it's gonna go through, but if you wanna hear the details, make sure you stay tuned and press subscribe. Uh, so there was a property that um, uh, a friend introduced me to another friend who owns this property. They've owned it for about 10 years and it's literally just been sitting there. It is, uh, they're paying property taxes and insurance on it, but they're not doing anything else with it. Over the past, I think about 11 years or so, they've started to do work into it, but it's just basically sitting there. And uh, the inside is all ripped out. There's no kitchen, there's no bathrooms. Um, it's just all frame and filled with debris. So if you look at the market it, and you, it's about 800 square feet. So if you look at the market in that area, it's, it's around a hundred grand, right? And um, there's all this work that needs to go down, go into it, right? There's not even a heating system in there. There is electrical. Originally, I thought there was no electrical. If you go watch that video back on the channel, um, but there's is electrical in there. There's no plumbing. Um, there's partial plumbing. There's partial on most of these things. So partial. Uh, the electrical, the, the box is in, and a lot of the stuff's wired, but I'm sure more would need to be wired for the electrical. But the um, uh, there's no heating system in there at all. So heating needs to be done. Uh, the electrical needs to be finished. The plumbing needs to be finished. Um, the basement still needs to be framed to be able to turn into two rooms and add a bathroom down there. Um, everything inside needs to be completely finished. Um, did I mention the kitchen and the bathroom upstairs? Like, leaves a lot, lot of work on this property. It's only 800 square feet, but the basement would make it a probably a 1500 square foot place or 14 something in that range. So, I had a, a um, I had offered him um, around uh, 35. There's also um, an easement there if I can get the city to um, develop the easement, then I can go in and put a driveway in. There's no driveway, so you have to give a huge discount for that from a selling standpoint. Um, yeah, so there's just a lot of, of factors going in on this, but I feel like if you, uh, do any type of deals like these there's always unique factors going on that's why they're deals like this and so when I factored in all the repairs for the deal um, I came in at around thirty five um, thirty five thousand dollars so uh, he did not go for that for the thirty five thousand dollars which is understandable. There's a lot of sunk cost. If you watch the other video that I made on uh, behavioral finance, one of the fallacies that people use in their decision making is uh, considering sunk costs as a, a determinant in making decisions today when that cost has already gone and shouldn't have any impact on today's decision. Um, I, I'm not faulting him. I think everybody does. It. I'm sure I do it in multiple different cases. However, I think that has a tremendous because he brought up uh, how much work he's already put into it and that kind of thing. So um, I don't think uh, I don't know. I, I I think I could probably come up if I can get it to a 1,400 square foot property, and if I can get it up to a 1,400 square foot property. Or if he wants to, and the other thing is, I'm going to try try him one more time and see if he wants to hold the note. Uh, if I do 45, um, if he holds the note, I'll give him like five grand up front, and then 500 bucks a month. Um, uh, you know, for X number of months or something like that, and uh, see if he goes for that, and we'll, we'll can go from there because I could turn it into a rental as well. So. Um, I'm going to continue to, I'm going to try one more time and see if he is interested in it. But if the current offer, he said no. Uh, I think he's also all over, you know, the spectrum a little bit. Um, and which is completely understandable. But I think 
the first time uh, I spoke with him, he said he wanted around 125. Later on in that conversation, he said 100. Like, there's no way you're going to get 100 or 125 for that property. Like, there's just nothing in the market you, is supporting prices for something like that. If it was completely finished and it was like a, a B, B plus, B quality uh, finish job, then I think you could probably get something around, around potentially 100 but there might have to be a discount taken into consideration because there's no fucking driveway. There's nowhere to park. Um, if, if the property next door, if they want to sell the property next door, that would be different. But uh, I don't think um, he's considering that. So then the second time, I think this was the second time I talked to him, he told me around 60. And, and then the third time I talked to him, which would have been yesterday, he told me 70. So uh, I'm not sure if he's put a tremendous amount of thought into that, which is completely fine. I will try again um, this week and just chit chat with him and see if something like that would make sense for him, um, if it's worthwhile for him. But uh, we'll go from there and I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.